One of us has to watch out in case Bear wakes up. Hey, Simon, how are you doing? Come on, Peter. Early morning wake up, call. Don't get too near the screen, Simon. You get sore eyes. Come on, stir yourself. Yes, yes, I'm awake. Yeah, well, I'm get awake. up and get yourself organised. Right. Now, what's the vote for breakfast, Sam? Eggy toast or rubbishy cereal? Eggy toast. Good thinking. Why don't you get upstairs and see if Grandma's got your clothes ready for you? Morning, love. Morning. Oh. The state of that. Yeah, oh. Lazarus, fresh from the tomb. Oh. Not that fresh. Look, I don't want to keep saying all the same things over and over, but nothing seems to be sinking in. There are decisions to be made and you can't put them off. Decisions like what? Oh, for heaven's sake, Peter. Like, when are you going back to Portsmouth? When it feels right. And Simon needs to be enrolled in school if you started making inquiries about that. Yeah, well, you should. And can you change your working hours to fit in with him? Oh, of course I can't. I'm a betting shop manager. It's my busiest time, the afternoon. Then you go to social services and you get a list of registered childminders and nurseries. And I can afford that, can I? Look, you're not the only single parent out there. There will be answers to all your problems. <sighs> Look, if you just get a few basics sorted out now, you could have a great life together. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's red, and if you mix red and yellow, it makes brown. Does it, mate? What about uh, blue and yellow? Hmm? Green? What makes purple? <coughs> Stupid baby stuff. Ah, well, look who I met at the shop. How you doing? All right. As I said, Peter's a bit fragile. Learn all about you, Simon. This is Joshua. And Joshua is very good at football. Um, what? You sound like one of them reading books for beginners. This is Simon. He likes football. We all like football. So, what do you think, Simon? Game of footy with Josh? All right, I'll get me coat. No, 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 no. You stay here. As you do the running around, I'll be goalie. I'm not fit enough stand up, let alone kick a ball. All right, yes, cheers for that, Ash. All right. Come on, Simon. Just find your trainers and your jacket. Come on, Josh. Give you a chance to make those calls. Schools and social services, remember? Right. Come on, then. Oh. No manic cartoons, all garish colours and American accents. You must have got rid of your poor little son again. You're not heading back to Portsmouth yet, then? Yes, I'm in the outside lane of the M6, doing 70. Oh, look, there's the turn-off for Birmingham. Do you know what really upsets me? Do tell. If you got your finger out... You could have that lad at school by Christmas, in time for all the parties and things. But no, you're too busy pickling your liver. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. I remember the first time I held our Joshua. So tiny, I thought I was going to crush him or drop him on his head or something. Oh, yeah, but you're great with him now, though. And you'll be the same with Simon, I promise you. Hmm? He's a smashing little lad. Yeah, he is. And that's why he deserves better. You've had a lot to get your head round. Just give it time, you'll get there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure I will. One way or another. Well, he's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Blue. Oh, really? Easy peasy. Red. Oh, yes. Duh. Oh, yes, I right. will. Yes, I'll Clever tell it. Dogs. Thank you. Aquamarine. Thank you very much. Turquoise. Bye. Burnt umber. <laughs> well, that was Better Street Primary. Apparently, Peter rang them this morning about enrolling Simon. I thought he was planning on moving back to Portsmouth. Yeah, so did I. Well, I'm not surprised he wants to stay here. Free babysitting, Deirdre washing his smalls. And he's never out of that fridge. I think he might have a tapeworm. Well, anyway, at least he's taking responsibility. I mean, getting Simon into school, that's very good news. 
I'm doing my spellings. Oh, yeah, very good. Here's one for you, Simon. A discombobulated. Have a go at that. I'm hot housing him. Oh, you won't be all holier than thou when I get him into Oxford. Hi, Maria. Uh, I'm glad I bumped into you. Have, have you got a minute? No, not really. Only I, I thought I should explain what happened last time I was back. Oh, well, forget it. I, I know I never got a chance to say goodbye to you. Peter, it don't matter, honestly. Well, it, no, it matters to me because I can see that you've not forgiven me. You are so pathetic. You think the whole world revolves around you? Don't look so worried. We're rescuing you. From what? Oh, do you know, I don't get it. He's staying with Blanche, mouth or mighty. And he knows now it's <laughs> getting there. Knocked over and killed? I tell you what, I've been to some rowdy stag dudes in my time, but. Well, poor bloke. Poor Maria. She's the one who's been left behind to bring up a kid all by herself. Breaks your heart. Well, there's no wonder she couldn't be bothered about me and my sad little apology. Whew. For a moment there, I, I thought I might be losing my touch. Right. I'll get me in Sabre again. Yeah. Oh, well. Better face the angry mob. If I'm not back in ten minutes, send out a search party. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. It's just as much my mess as it is yours. Actually, don't get me another one. I'm gonna get off. Oh, all right then. Who's that? I have nobody, just a bloke from the bookies. Hiya. Mm -hmm. He's not very happy with you, is he? What's wrong? Do you owe him money? I owe him now. He's a pig. Do you want a sandwich? We've got some ham. Uh, no, thanks, Blanche. I've got to... I've got to nip out for a bit. Ah, has Blanche given me the good news? Simon has got a place at Bessie Street Primary. I'm not cut out to be a dad. You can't just walk out on it. It's better off without No, don't be so defeatist. Whether you like it or not, it's your responsibility. You're spineless, you are. That poor little lad's been knocked sideways. He's lost his mum, and now his own father's running out on him. Pity he's not a puppy. At least then you could have him put down. Just stop it. The stop it! Get off! That poor little lad. He knows no one wants him. He might not say much, but he misses Nout. I don't just stand here and watch you abandon your own son. Whether you stay here or go to Portsmouth, believe me! Simon is going to be with you! <laughs>